Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research again. Uh, four days ago I did a video on building Air Engine Model 2017 and after I got a few views on it, one of the comments came up that he would like to see uh, more detail on how an eccentric drive works. So I put together just a little short demonstration on on how that uh, piston motion driving the eccentric causes the, the disc to rotate. So I'll let you see that. And once again, thanks for checking in and I'll see you next time. This is going to be a short video. I had a request from one subscriber to show how the eccentric drive works in my air motor. So this will be a short demonstration. The piston pushes on the shaft that has a bearing attached to the end of it that rides in a groove of a plate and the pivot point of the plate is off center so that as the disc rotates it, it it goes with the pistons up and down and in a moment you'll be able to see how that is working as a number one piston pushes down it will start rotating the disc to the right. So number one is the top center. And as it pushes, it goes completely to the bottom, which is half the distance that a crankshaft would travel, or possibly a little less, depending on the actual length of the uh, throw on the crankshaft. But this way, it, it just continues to rotate. Each time the piston pushes down on the center, it, it rotates the disc to the right. And then the number two piston, which is the one just to the right of the top one, it's pushing on the center and pushing it down as it goes. At this point, Number one cylinder is all the way to the bottom. Number two is almost to the bottom. With the next 60 degree rotation, the number two piston will be at the bottom, like now. And then it continues to, to rotate. Which drives the drive shaft and causes the air engine to drive whatever vehicle it's going to be in. I hope this has been enough of a demonstration. If you have any further questions, you can always send them to me by the comment section on my YouTube video.